All right, hello everybody. My name is Drew Riggs and welcome back to Cross Out. Today we are on the PR test server once again because we are checking out the new pack coming with the Halloween update soon. Last year's Halloween pack was a bit of a disappointment for some people as it was basically just a reskin Valentine's Day pack. But this year, the devs have surely delivered with an all new pack featuring an all new cabin, as well as a bunch of new armor parts. We got the entire pack here. The video is not only going to be about the pack, but it's actually mainly going to be about the new cabin, which is called Dusk, because that cabin is quite interesting and could potentially change the way that we use homing missiles right now. But before we get into the breakdown of that, I want to start out with the pack itself. The pack comes in two different versions. It comes in the regular Phantom pack, as well as the Phantom pack deluxe edition the regular phantom pack features the following items as you can see right here so we are getting the new cabin as well as a new paint called pale shadow on top of that we get six pyres one hot red we get an ammo pack a here's horn as well as an ampere radar and a chameleon and some array wheels and twin wheels and midnight is once again also featured in this pack so midnight is definitely a black paint that is quite common in all of these different packs we have a bunch of new armor parts here as well which we will also see in the deluxe pack so for the deluxe pack we will be getting the ocean spirit paint instead now at the moment i'm not 100 sure if there is anything else in this pack once it releases let's just see here it is so we can see here we get the unit come amokar phantom yep that's what we already know and we get a pack of special module and wheels that we also know vehicle structural parts yep a character portrait and a character banner background and logo and then we get a set with unique paint canes which you would otherwise not get and you get the 4,000 in-game coins so basically what you get if you buy the deluxe pack compared to the regular pack can we even find the regular pack in here right now i'm not sure if oh there it is perfect so with this pack you will only be getting the portrait and you will be getting one paint but if you select to buy the deluxe version you will also get the banner as well as five extra paints so that is the main difference and then of course all of the extra coin that you will be getting with the pack as well for the deluxe packs we've usually been seeing a custom garage and stuff like that as well they've chosen not to go this route this time but there is still something extra if you go for the deluxe pack another thing that we usually see in the deluxe pack which we don't this time is some special ck's or something like that which we also don't see in this pack but the cabin is the main thing about this new pack which is why i am going to look at that now and we're kind of just gonna leave the pack here and you guys can decide for yourself if you think it's worth it and if you want to get it so with this new cabin first of all let me just show you what it does and, and and maybe you can see it for yourself you see how those tires are just way different there well that is because the dust cabin changes homing missiles so homing missiles become more accurate deal 30 percent more damage and fly 20 percent faster however its lifetime is 67% lower and its maneuverability is reduced. Now, what does this mean? Well, I'll show you what this means. Let's take a couple of these pyres and move them up here because for demonstration purposes, this is going to make my life a lot easier. You can drive out here again and shoot. And I mean, the graphics, first of all, on the missiles when you have the cabin looks nothing short of amazing. It actually looks really good. Now, as it's said, the missiles would be more precise, deal 30% more damage, but also have its lifetime reduced by 67%. What this means when we play is the following. Oh, whoops. Maybe you can even tell it there. You see how quickly those explode? I don't know why we lost track of it just before we shot, but let's just see if we can regain that track. There we go. Only a couple of them locked on, and they just made it down there. But if I was to shoot these, if I was to shoot these, let's say I park like this, and I want to shoot it over here... Well, you see that the missiles are not even close to hitting. This also comes for the legendary variant of homing missiles. I don't even think those will make it there. Nope, they won't. So as you can see, the flight time is way, way lower. I loaded up a hurricane build here with the new cabin just to show you guys what this also means for the hurricane. Because a lot of people play the hurricane mounted like this so you're always facing away from the enemy this allows you to shoot the hurricane in an upwards arc like that but with the new cabin that's no longer possible because the missiles would die out way before they get there so you will have to play your missiles more directly now but the trade-off for this is that you also get that extra damage and you get faster and more precise missiles so there is a bonus to this cabin nevertheless and the damage you get increased damage you get from these homing missiles 
is, in my opinion, surely worth it. There are, of course, also some downsides to it, because when you previously had the option to shoot the enemy from above, which would make it hard for them to hide, you can no longer do that with this cabin. So it's, it's in my opinion, a pretty fairly balanced trade-off that you get, because you will have to face your enemies more directly with the Hurricanes instead of hiding on one side of the map and just blasting them down. But if you do, you're rewarded for the more aggressive playstyle. And that is actually pretty much what this cabin offers from what we know previously. Now, I know you guys are right now thinking, hmm, will this work with the nest? And will this work with the flute? I'm not gonna say it just yet. I wanna show you instead. So let's install a couple of nests onto here and go out here. And I am gonna shoot my nest rockets and see if you can notice a difference. Alrighty. There we go. And what about this guy? Should we try shooting him as well? And once again, the rockets are off. Now, if you're thinking that's a huge spread, well, then you are absolutely right. And if you're looking at these missiles and thinking, hmm, I don't feel like they fly any faster. And I don't feel like, I mean, technically, the nest already has such a short lifetime that even just going this far away they should run out so i can spoil at this point that no the nest will not be affected the reason that the nest will not be affected is because homing missiles become more accurate this is not a homing missile this is a precision missile so those will not be affected likewise with the flute and again i am just going to show you so that no one thinks that this is not correct let's put four flutes onto here and let's go out so flutes they fly up, I go down here. The flute should have died out by now. The flute should have died out by now if these were affected because they would only last for 3.5 seconds pretty much if these were affected by the cabin. So that means that flutes are not affected either, but this is probably also all right because flutes are quite deadly already. And honestly, if a flute would be able to live for four seconds, I don't think it would be worth playing nevertheless. <laughs> But that is the new cabin for you, the Dusk Cabin, looking super dope. And we have a bunch of other things in this update, but I'm going to cover those in a, pre in a following video that will be releasing in a couple of hours after you're watching this. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about this pack or the new cabin, please leave them down below and see if the following video will answer some of those questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.